Um, I was asked to give you guys a quick little uh, techno kind of thing uh, if we have time. Do you guys want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so I thought about this all night and I was like, what in the fuck am I going to do to show you guys? So I'm, I'm literally, um, don't save, check this out. All right, let's have some fun. Okay, I'm going to go as quick as I can. I'm not going to explain anything. I'm going to show you what I would do if I was getting ready to write a techno track. So I come over here. Uh, let's close all this stuff down. It would be Max for Live, MIDI effect. Okay, show you some stuff. Boom. Okay, this is a Max for Live uh, plugin. And this is one of my, I've just given you guys all of it. Maybe someone will do something really useful with it. So now I'm going to go grab, let's grab, let's grab something fun here. Ryan, Yo. what are we using? What we'll plug-in? Give me some, for bass. What are we using for bass? Let's make some bass. Th uh, Ryan's also my assistant in my studio. So there's Ryan. Ryan, stand up. This, this is Ryan. This, this is Ryan. This is my assistant. Um, oh, here we go. Let's do this. This is fun. All right, cool. All right, and then let's get Reactor going. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do like a kick, snare, hi-hat. I'm going to show you how I write a bass line. And then I'm going to do some, um, uh, some crazy uh, texture. Like uh, in techno, we, I, some people call it hypnotica. But basically, if you hear like uh, techno, there's kind of like this, like uh, almost kind of like this atmosphere moving through the background. So we're just going to make a, a groove really quickly. Um, and I might need you guys' help so I can go faster. There's Reactor. I'm a bit blind these days. So there's Reactor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of set myself up for success here and just load exactly what I know I need. And again, we're going to go to Ableton, go EQ8. Let's copy that so we can be efficient. We'll come over here. Boom, there's that. Uh, let's come back to Reactor, and you guys help me find LFO tool. LFO tool, there it is right there. Boom, OK, there we go. All right, let's see if I can do this, like speed writing. OK, um, let's get a kick. All right, uh, packs, let's see. You'll see how organized I am here in a minute. We'll go minimal techno, drums. No, no, let's do this. Strictly minimal. This will work. Um, where's that Ryan? Is it this it? I think this is it. Yeah, these are good kicks. That's not it. Perfect. Oh, also, let me give you guys a quick tip too when you're writing, uh, when you're writing music um, or producing. Try to shy away from sample packs that don't separate the kicks and the snares and the hi-hats and the loops. Like this, I feel, and it's my opinion, that sample companies kind of take advantage of people by selling loops like that. Because what if you want to pull the hi-hat or you want to pull something out? And I think a lot of us, like we buy sample packs when we get into it, and we buy these packs. And then we're like kind of stuck with this loop, right? So I think that it's always good to have everything separated. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty stompy. Uh, let's grab that. All right, cool. All right, now I said I was going to give you guys some mixing tips. Setting yourself up for success, for a good mix, um, I always turn everything down, right? So I go negative 10 right off the bat, OK? <clears throat> if you don't, you're already maxed out here. You've already maxed out your headroom, right? So 12, we'll just do 12. There's that. And then I'm going to go cycle some snares. Let's just be quick about this. Let's just get like a quick little jam going real quick here. Um, this will be really fun. All right. So I'll go for like a snare next. I'm not kidding. I will spend hours on a snare. It, 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 for, for my genre, which I should have shown you, but I didn't. Um, uh, for my genre, maybe we'll have enough time at the end. I'll show you one of my tracks. Uh, for, I, I really, the snare is really important. Like for me, when I'm out on the dance floor, I want that snare to just kick my ass. I, I got to have something. It's like that down bean. It's really what makes me move. So when I'm writing my music, the snare is very important to me. So it's got to be, uh, so I'll cycle. And let's go quicker. Let's move this to like uh, half. OK, I don't love it, but for the sake of time, let's grab it. I can make magic happen. OK, let's grab a hi-hat. Perfect. 
All right, good. There we go. Let's turn that down. And see how I'm automatically matching everything I do. All right, now for the fun part, okay? So this is my baby. And the way that I write music is very, um, I always say this wrong, generative. I like to let, it's like you. I've, I've paid all this money for all these cool plugins. I want them to think for me. I, I, I like to take my, um, I like to think of it as like pulling out of the ethos, right? Whatever is in my head, I might not be thinking of it, but if I just kind of use these tools that I've bought and, and learned to use, I can utilize them and I can just kind of pull something out of the air and use it to get this idea, this feeling uh, that I have out of my head. So what this is, is a uh, step generator and it's gonna, step, it's gonna generate uh, steps. So let's solo it here so you guys can hear it. Okay, let's see here. Why aren't you? Oh, we gotta load we gotta load a preset. Come on, Vaughn. That's my coach used to always say. Come on, Vaughn. All right, base new patch. Let's go over here. Uh, almost enough. Sure, sure it is. All right. Are we getting our keyboard working? Key. Why am I not getting Okay, perfect. Now, what I did, I'm going to set this to zero. So what this is, is it's a step generator. And basically, through hitting a series of random buttons, I am going to make a bass line, and it is going to be awesome. And you guys are going to be like, what? And then I'm going to tell you that this thing was five bucks. OK, so um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose my scale. I personally like F sharp, G, A. I like all the sharps. Let's go D sharp. That's a good one. Chromatic. Let's do. Let's do, let's just leave it chromatic. Let's see what we get. So first, this first button, I'm going to hit randomize. Too much. Randomize. And let's cut the lows out of this. Let's just do that right off the bat. So I'll always just come in here and cut the lows. Let's just do like 55 for now. OK, that's cheesy. We're not going to do anything cheesy. Don't. Hey, have some faith. I'm trying to pull out of the ethos here, and you're laughing at me. It's not going to work. Uh, I want something really sc scaled back, and it's obviously, uh, uh, and it's it's a push and pull also between. Um, um, okay, so let's just take some of those notes out. There we go. Let's take that one out. Okay, good enough for now. You get the idea. I mean, obviously, I'd probably do something a little bit more scaled back than that, but uh, let's, do, let's go through some presets. That's pretty good. There's one I'm looking for. Come on. Come on. Okay, so there. I mean, I'm I'm not like crazy about it. Now, here's what we can do. Let's play around with the notes a bit. So I can play with the pitch. I play with the velocity. Sounds good. It's dark. I'm dark. That's what happens. OK, <laughs> so uh, let's go into Reactor now. Now, here's where I've been uh, contemplating all night. I'm like, what am I going to do? How am I going to show off? So uh, the other thing, too, I've got this LFO tool here. It's kind of like it's really good for side chaining. So basically what it does is it's pumping. We're getting a little clipping. I'll move this back a little bit. So let's get Reactor open. So um, I also like to call myself a sound designer. That's why I showed you the, the video that I did. Um, let's go in here and uh, let's see. Let's see. Abstract and sound generators. We're gonna do. We're gonna do something fun. No, here's what we'll do. We'll do. Uh, let's do Twisted Tools. We'll give. We'll give Twisted Tools a plug. Favorites. Where are you? Twisted Tools. 
Where's Scapes? Scapes. Where's that slayer? Scapes, there you are. All right. So, unless I turn this off, it won't shut up. So what this is, uh, and without getting too technical, right? We're on, uh, we got maybe five minutes left. Uh, this thing's always creating sound. And Reactor is a VST, it's everything. Just it's, it's a sampler, it's a synthesizer, it's a sound generation tool. It can be anything you want it to be. Um, and this particular ensemble I'm using in Reactor uh, generates uh, really cool sounds. So I'm just gonna set myself up to create this like pumping um, texture that goes behind that kick and uh, uh, snare baseline that I just created. So let's focus on that for a second. So I'm gonna cut the frequencies out that I don't want. And then let's let's throw a reverb on that. R R. This one. I'll go here. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's, let's really if we're gonna show off. Let's, let's show off. Uh, let's come in here. Where is Max for Live? Essentials, and we want uh, and to audio effect and we want does anybody know where the LFO thing is where's the LFO thing is it is it a MIDI control devices LFO MIDI no that won't that won't work right here no it's it's an audio that's not it it's audio let's see here max audio audio effects are FO for control devices LFO okay here we go here we go okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map this frequency here. So I'll come over here and hit map and grab this. There, now I've got some motion. Let's turn that down a bit. And it's a little too much. There we go. Let's hear how that sounds. keep messing around. I mean, that's two really quick tips, and hopefully they were helpful. This is called uh, Ultimate Step Seek, but it's like got um, a Z's in it, and then I showed you how, I mean, that's it. That's kind of how I would just generate something really quickly. Yeah? Cool. Give it up. very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.